CMA Week rolling on. Will Hogue is up next. How's it going, brother? Good. How are you doing? Good. Cool to meet you. You as well. Uh, you've kind of uh, come onto the scene here, and everybody's talking about you these days. Oh, so good. Hopefully uh, only in good terms. Absolutely. Good, good, Absolutely. good. Absolutely. Um, I think I, I saw or read that you're uh, going to be a big part of Chevy now. Yes. Uh, they have picked up Strong, which is a song that I wrote and recorded uh, to use for their Silverado truck campaign and it's also the new single that's out at radio now how so. cool is that man uh really cool yeah yeah i'm a chevy truck guy so are I, you <laughs> yeah. have you tried the 2014 chevy silverado actually i'm getting ready to possibly get one right are now you? i'm driving a 2013 hd but. well what you should do is after this we'll go out and get in mine you can test drive it and uh, i feel certain that the vehicle will sell itself cool looking truck i love it yeah but enough about chevy trucks. Enough about we chevy can talk truck. about those all day we can we were walking around yesterday and uh my buddy chuck here was like oh dude look at this we're in the Ernest Tub record shop and there's a Will Hogue album. <laughs> What's that like? That's got to that be cool is to see. Cool. It is. You know, having grown up in Nashville uh, and, you know, frequented the Ernest Tubb record shop for many years, any chance you get to see your record in any store is pretty special, but getting to see it down there is something that's even cooler. I even saw one on vinyl. Mm -hmm. You still playing the vinyl at all? Or? We do. Well, my kids love it. You know, it's funny. i got a six and three year old little boys, and they love to play records. So we've gotten a record player at the house, and it seems to be something that fans really gravitate towards, too. Some to listen to, and some just because the artwork is legible and everything mm -hmm. else. So. Some people say it's the truest sound. I would say it's probably the truest sound. Yeah, yeah it's, it's just, uh, you know, it's eclectic, it's uh, nostalgic, but it still sounds great. It does. It really does sound good. Catching up with Will Hogue. Uh, got to ask about the song, Even If It Breaks Your Heart. Yeah. Tell me about that. Uh, I wrote that with my friend Eric Pasley. We wrote it really, really quickly a few years ago, and... and I put it out on a record and thought I had finally written this song that was going to connect with a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. Put it out on my record and about 14 people heard it. Uh, fortunately, five of those were in the Eli Young band. Yes. And they uh, decided they were going to record it and they put it out and did have an actual hit with it and proved me right after uh, after all these years. So what's that feel like? I mean, obviously you work so hard and you want it to be a number one for yourself, mm -hmm. but now that it's been picked up by another band, what? What's that like for you? I mean, it it was really flattering, you know, because they they took it and literally did just a, a fairly straight representation of the song, and I thought that was incredibly flattering. Mm -hmm. And it was such a great introduction to the country format uh, for me as an independent artist. This is a very difficult format to just jump headfirst into. Right. So now having that, you know, kind of lay some groundwork for us and now having the strong thing that we can come out with a first single it really works out better for me having it have have happened that way well this is kind of a cool transition i mean obviously a major you know company has picked you up yeah and uh to, for their commercials mm -hmm. and you're here at cma week so i think here it's going we pretty good i can't complain a pretty bit. cool yeah, will man. hogue thanks for your time thanks